Hi, Barbara! Welcome to my diary and this is your Ate Lorraine. So, I'm saying welcome and thank you for coming back or thank you for coming if you are new here to my channel. So, what's up? What's up? What's up? Today, <laughs> today is actually a very, very special day. I consider it very special day because it's April 20 and it's our 7 months of being married because we got married um, September 20 last year. So because we are talking about our um, wedding month so I decided to film today about how I meet my husband. So without further ado, let's move on to the story. And of course, before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, please do by clicking the subscribe button down below together with the notification bell. Do -do 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 -do. So you will be notified when I upload new video. Ta-da! And so because this is storytelling video, I need you to prepare something for you to eat while listening and while watching on this video. So what I have here is... <laughs> I have my grapes in here so I will eat it while I'm telling you the story so the story goes this way mm. so to begin the story I had this amazing breakup I say it's amazing breakup because this breakup actually leads me to the right person and to the right man that I am with right now. So I am so thankful after this breakup. Oh my God, yes. So yes, after this amazing breakup, um, I had a very wonderful time of my life. It was way back 2016 and 17 and 18. Kasi I did a lot of travel. I went to places with my friends, with my friends i spent a lot of time with my friends at work and yes most of the time i was alone because i was living alone in my apartment then um so basically i was enjoying my single life that time until before my 33rd birthday because yes when you are 30 it's still fine but when you pass at the age of 30 31 if you are 31 already and when you are 32 you will get alarmed when you are still single when i was 32 i was still fine because i was enjoying travel doing a lot of things by my own and it was really fun being with uh my former colleagues because i love my former colleagues even right now if even until now that we have this solid connection to each other so okay to cut the story short so it was before my birthday 2018 birthday i came to the realization that oh my gosh lorena you are getting old what are you gonna do with all my hams, my hams, my <laughs> no, I just came to realize, alam mo yun, yung, um, all of the sudden, parang magsisink in sa'yo, sometime, hindi nyo ikakailayan, di ba, you, you can say that this is not happening to you, it's not just necessarily that I'm talking about love life, but, on some other things of life as well you will get to be depressed and stressed about something in your life in whatever age you are right now diba so yun nga ang nangyari on my 33rd birthday so i was really drunk that time and I had a lot of fun and uh, basta sobrang nakakatuwa kasi most of the people i i was with during that time was my colleagues lang so okay lang malasing kasi they are also my close friends so after that night and it's araw mismo ng birthday ko na na realize ko lang pagising ko i had headache and i want to do something at least kasi wala akong paso to celebrate my birthday tapos na realize ko i have no one to call to i i don't have anyone during that time so parang 
ang nangyari, umiyak lang ako, parang, oof. Ito yung turning point ng akala ko I was just fine. Kasi, um, nag enjoy naman ako sa pagiging single. Uh, at saka may mga flirt-flirt minsan, di ba? Hindi naman mo iiwasan yan. Eh. Lalo na kung nagtatrabaho ka at lumalabas ka, may mga makikilala ka din along the way. Pero, wala. Hanggang nakikilala mo lang sila, nakakausap, nakakachat, pero hindi yun nagpupush through sa something special. So, it ends right there and then lang. So, walang nangyayari. Ah, during that time, so iyak lang talaga ako ng iyak. Wala nang uh, parang na-depress ako. <laughs> na-depress talaga ako. Na-depress talaga ako and uh, nalungkot. Sabi ko, anong mangyayari sa akin sa mga susunod na araw? Wala akong anak. Okay lang sana kung meron akong anak. Kahit wala akong asawa, di ba? Okay lang yun for me. Doesn't matter. Doon parang na-miss ko yung May magkikare talaga sa'yo na parang nandyan, bibigyan ka ng regalo. I'm not after gift, ha? Don't take me wrong. I'm after of the feelings na may mag-aalaga talaga sa'yo. Kasi yun yung pinaka na -miss ko. And yes! At dahil nga, we are strong enough to stand from the sadness. So, naisip ko, okay, this is what I will do. Gagawa na ako na Tinder account ko. Tinder account. So, chit 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 chit, gumawa ka ng Tinder account. So, I was on Tinder from July. Tapos, ayun, during the whole time from July until um, September, before I saw my husband actually in Tinder, I was able to meet two guys. So, hindi ko na sila papangalagan kasi wala din naman nangyari. Nakakatuwa lang kasi, you know, when it comes to me having boyfriend, ang dami kong mga kaibigan na sobrang supportive. Yung mga kaibigan ko sa work dati, sasabihin, matuto ka kasi maglande. Lundi ka kasi, ganyan. Huwag mo nang isipin na kahit ikaw ang mauna. Kasi in a way, parang feeling ko, hindi maganda yung ako yung mauna sa isang lalaki. After ko mamit yung dalawang guys na to, I realized to step back and think again. Kasi I thought na parang walang papupuntahan na seryoso yung mamimit mo lang online kasi they are just into flirting, most of them. After ako maglailo ng few days, I said, okay, I'll go on Tinder again. Tapos, or I will not talk anyone there. I will just look for someone there. So, ang ginawa ko... Go back to Tinder, check, check. So, yun, habang nag-check ako, I came across to this profile. So, unang picture, the first picture I saw was he was standing and uh, smiling. Parang normal, ganun. Unang kita ko pa lang, I just thought na, oh, this is my type. Ito yung mga tipo ko, yung mga ganitong itsura. By the way, yung mga tipo kong itsura, yung mga lalaki ang lalaki ang itsura. Pero, at the same time, maamo yung mukha. I don't know how to say it in English. Yes, sobrang masculine ang itsura. At the same time, maamo. Yun. Gusto ko yung may balbas. Yes, sobrang dun pa lang nung unang kita ko. Balang, parang naging interesado na ako sa itsura niya. So, I ran through his profile <laughs> in Tinder. Natatawa ako. Kasi, tinignan ko talaga isa-isa yung mga pictures. And, good thing, nakita ko besh, meron siyang Instagram. And, yes! Chinek ko yung Instagram, kinuha ko yung Instagram name, and I went to Instagram and looked for his profile. And, yes, here comes the answered prayer. <laughs> Yeah. Nung pumunta ko yung Instagram, naka-private siya, ang ginawa ko, finalo ko na. But, hindi siya nag-reply on that moment. So, a few days after, there was someone who was actually liking my photos in Instagram. So, nung pag-check ko, naka-follow na ako sa kanya and siya, kaka-follow lang niya sa akin. Naisip ko, sino ba to? Honestly, hindi ko na siya maalala by that time. 
So, ang nangyari, ako ang nag-message sa kanya. Kasi, alam nyo, Bebe, tumatak sa isip ko yung lagi sinasabi ng mga office mate ko na lalaki na sinasabi nila, okay lang yan, ikaw na mauna. Ganyan, kahit pag gusto mo, unahan mo na, unahan mong kausapin, wala namang masama doon, hindi ka bawasan sa pagkababae mo yun, kung gusto mo talaga. So, tama lang naman din yun. So, ang ginawa ko, inunahan ko na siya, message ko siya. This was the first conversation that we had in Instagram. So, yes, ako ang unang nag-message sa kanya sa Instagram. And, um, pagka-message ko, nag-reply naman siya. And, uh, yeah, from then on, continuous na yung uh, communication namin. So, until the time na I asked him, if he has Facebook. During the time, nag-exchange nag na kami ng message every day. Meron na kaming message to each other. Mag-good morning, mag-good night siya, ganon. Ganon siya kaka-operative. <laughs> Hanggang sa time na sabi ko, let's video call. Gusto ko makita sa camera yung Itsura niya talaga, di ba? Malay ko ba kung siya ba yun o hindi, di ba? Ma mabuti na yung nag-iingat tayo at mabuti na yung inaalam talaga natin. So yes, nag-video call kami. Na naging friend na kami sa Facebook. At saka continuous, continuous yung conversation namin. It was actually his first time to talk with other people in the camera, sabi niya. So mahihain talaga siya. So, naniniwala kayo na it doesn't need a lot of time for you to realize na you feel something special for someone. Yun ang, ano, parang for the both of us, same kami ng nararamdaman. Hanggang sa dumating yung time na nag-I love you na kami sa isa't isa. And we are together already. And yes, we are in a relationship na. At saka sa Facebook, nag-in a relationship na din kami. So after four months of having consistent communication to each other, he finally visited me in uh, January 2019. And yes, the first place na pinuntahan namin during that time to visit my mom in the province. Uh, I came from Eastern Summer, so my mom is in Eastern Summer also. So we spent few days there. Uh, at yun, welcome naman siya sa bahay namin. And yeah, he stayed in the Philippines with me for almost a month. I think three weeks, more more than three weeks during his first visit. And during that time, naramdaman ko na din talaga na he is really different. And I feel really uh, happy nung kasama ko siya. And yes, I think na yun din nang naramdaman niya. When he went back to Norway, continue pa rin yung LDR namin. And he went back to the Philippines April 2019 at the same year and nag-propose na siya during that time sa Pilipinas. So, yun. And uh, bumalik siya ng Norway after three weeks again and then continuous pa rin yung LDR. Tapos, we got married here in Norway in September 2019 when I went here the first time last year. So, yun. Dito kami nagpakasal sa Norway. So, yun lang, bebe. Ang masasabi ko lang, um, if you are single on your 30s, I know it's very hard. Kasi, di ba, alam natin, everyone knows, all women know na meron expiration ang matres natin. So, yun ang hinahabol natin. So, don't be depressed. Don't be stressed. If you are single, just have fun. Enjoy. Because along the way, if the right guy is coming, it will come or he will come. He will come in the most unexpected time, in the most unexpected time. Place. And yes, if you are going to a dating site, remember to be careful as well because not everyone you will meet in that site are actually nice people. There are some people that uh, will just going to use you or are not intending to be serious, diba? You have to be very, very careful. Ha! Don't, um, 
be like, ah, kapag foreigner, okay lang, okay lang. You have to feel na gusto mo talaga yung isang tao kasi you won't marry someone out of gusto mo lang makapunta ng ibang bansa, gusto mo lang uh, makapag-asawa ng kano, ng foreigner. Never, ever, ever think na yung foreigner na magiging asawa mo ay way kung paano ka maaahon sa kahirapan. Hindi sila pagkakakitaan. Kung ikaw seryoso ka na makahanap ng foreigner boyfriend or foreigner husband, dapat yung mahal mo din. Kasi you want No, di ba? Kung ano magiging sitwasyon mo pag pumunta ka sa bansa nila. Paano kung hindi pala yun yung ina-expect mo? Tapos, um, papakasalan mo lang to kasi yun yung expectations mo. It won't, uh, it won't work that way. I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa long story ko. And yes, I know that here in YouTube, there's a lot of Filipina who is actually married to foreign nationals. And I would like to hear the story from you guys. If you are someone like me, please comment down below. Share your story. And so, para magkaroon tayo ng interaction din. Kasi naka, parang nakakatuwa mag, magkwento ng mga experiences. You can share it by commenting your story down below. So, I am really uh, excited to hear your um part of story so, kung paano kayo nagkakilala ng mga jowa nyo dyan mga bebe so yun lang, sana nag enjoy kayo sa story ko, I'm sorry if this is, this video took so long and yes now we are actually happily married and yes, I have said earlier we are celebrating our 7 months today sana kayo din um, happily married pa rin hanggang ngayon ng inyong mga foreign national husbands and God bless you I'm really glad to be here and telling you this kasi this is a uh, part of my life and this is my diary so thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe on my channel See you guys! Be safe and be well! Thank you for listening! Thank you so much! Love you all! Bye-bye!